Okay. D to 1 action. Okay, so problem 3.10. Uh, determine the equivalent resistance looking at the input and the ratio of B2 over B1. So this is the input and this is the output or B2. B2 and B1. So something for total resistance are total. So mag-start tayo dito sa output papunta sa input. So again, 20 and 20 series, then parallel sa 40. Na kung kukuhanin natin yung R equivalent, equal siya ng 40 by 40 over 80. So, 20 ohms. Now, drawing natin yung circuit. Unti-unti. Yan. So, ito na yung 20. And ito na yung mangyayari sa circuit. Then, 20, 40, 20, 40, 20, 40, 20. So, ito pa rin yung P1. Then, hanggang maubos natin yan, hanggang mapaliit natin yung circuit, pare-parehas lang yung value. So, pare-parehas lang yung makukuha. 20, oh, ay no, 10 lang pala to, sorry. 10. So, this is what is 10. 40, 20, 40, 20, 20. Next. So, ito na lang siya. 10, 40, 20, 20. Then, yung last circuit, ito na lang. So, 20, 10. So, ito yung P1. So, therefore, ang total is equal to 10 plus 20 equals 30 ohms. Now, solving for the ratio of P2 over B1, mag-assign tayo ng current. So, let's say, nagpun tayo ng I1. Then, maglagay tayo dito na I2. So, pwede natin lagyan dito I3. Then, I4. I5. I6. I7. I8. I9. Then, copy lang natin dito. So, I1. This is I9. I8. I7. I6. I5. I4. Okay. So, pag tinignan natin dito, ah, teka, start dito, I1, I9, I8, I7, I6. Then, again, I1, I9, I8. Yan. Okay, so dito tayo mag-start pabalik doon. Pag kinuha natin dito, I1. So, ano yung I1? I1 is equal to B1 over R total. And R total is equal to 30. So, B1 over 30. Tingnan natin dito, I1 is equal to I9 plus I8. So, I1 is equal to I9 plus I8. Now, yung, uh, itong 40, tsaka yung 40 na to, yung 20 plus 20, parallel. So, connected dito, connected dyan. So, Parallel. Now, kung para 
then equal ang voltage. So therefore, V9 is equal to V8. Now, ano yung V9? V9 is 40 I9. Then V8 equal siya ng 40 I8. Nagkakansal natin yan, lalabas, I9 is equal to I8. So, pwede natin sabihin dito that I1, which is equal to B1 over 30, is equal to, to I8. So, ano na ngayon mangyayari? Pwede natin sabihin that I8 is equal to B1 over 60. Yeah. So, I8 is B1 over 60. So, looking at here, ano magiging equation natin? I8 is equal to I7 plus I6. So, yeah. Pag tinignan mo dyan, I8 is equal to I7 plus I6. Again, B7 is equal to B6. So, therefore, pwede natin sabihin that I8 is equal to to I6. Now, I8 is equal to B1 over 60. Kung equate natin yung 2 I6, ano mangyayari? I6 is equal to B1 over 120. Next. Nasa na tayo? Ito na tayo, yung I6. Pag tinignan natin dito, I6 is equal to I5 plus I4. Now, same procedure. Parallel uli yung I5, ay yung 40, tsaka yung 40 dito. So, lalabas uli na I5 is equal to I4. For I6 is equal to B1 over 20, equal siya ng 2 I4. So, ano na? Mangyayari na dyan, I4 is equal to B1 over 240. Nakuha pa ba dito? B1 over 240. So, nasa na tayo? I4. So, eto. B1 over 240. So, pag na natin dito sa part na to, I4 is equal to I3 plus I2. So, ganun uli siya. So, same circuit. 40 and 40. So, I4 is equal to 2 I2. E, ang I4 natin is B1 over 240. Equal ng 2 I2. So, therefore, I2 is B1 over 480. So, ayan yung I2 natin. So, ang hinahanap natin is ratio ng B1 over B2. Okay, medyo magpaloy circuit. Pagpaling tayo dito. Yan. Dito, pag tinignan natin, B1 is equal to 480 I2. Pag tinignan mo dito, V2 is equal to 20 I2. So, resistance multiplied by current. So, kung kukunin natin yung ratio ng V2 over V1, maliging 20 I2 over 480 I2. So, cancel yung I2. V2 over V1 is 1 over 20. 